So guys, this is the nose tracking software that I've been working on. I think it's quite cool. Um, it, I mean, you know, it's not the best because if you go fast, it takes too long to catch up. But, but otherwise, I think it's got some good uses, possibly. Up show. Certainly an interesting piece of software to develop such a thing. Um, you know, and to have enough free time to be able to develop software of one specific logo, Broken Toad, that tracks someone's nose. You might say it's mental, uh, but I don't think you should. Right. So you can tell I have less and less to bedaddle. Um, but I can give you an update on my, uh, my painting journey for the last seven days. So obviously it's now been seven days. It's not actually, is it? Yeah, it's seven days since the last cast. And um, that means seven more days of painting with the family back. Key point there, time and family. So, yeah, basically, it's really good. Um, like, I haven't necessarily got anything more done, like model-wise, but I've painted more. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, also interesting, can you hear outside? Hold on. Apparently not. My window's open. It's bloody sunny, and I want some of the feeling of summer. I should just go outside, uh, but I don't know. It's like part lazy, part fear. I don't want to get burnt <laughs> on my balcony. But the point: painting Facebook. So I wasn't logged into Facebook. I logged into Facebook yesterday, and guess what? I went to bed at one a.m. and I got no painting done. So yesterday was actually the first day that I didn't get painting done. Um, you will see the results and fruits of my liber um, in in the episode that we're about to watch. Uh, well, I suppose I'm recording. We're about to watch. Sort of implies that we're together, but you know, you, you you're about to watch later on if you get that far. Um, you'll also notice that there's a border around this video. This is a very thin black border. I thought it was a nice touch. Broken Toad logo, kind of oranged up and actually probably now looking a little bit high. Um, painting, that was it. So yeah, uh, you'll see yeah, You'll see what I've been doing. We can go on a better there, but um, suspense. I have nothing to say. I was gonna say, but let's jump in to this week's. So I have obviously still been, oh, okay. Let's Let's start with my stuff. That wasn't deliberate by the way. But I'm playing around with this new, so we've got different galleries now, and you will see that look at me things down at the bottom right hand corner now. It says what section we're on because we are introducing uh, new sections. We, I'm the only one who does it. I'm introducing new sections. Uh, I'm going to have models of other people. Yep. Models from me, which is look at my look at me things me look at me things it's kind of a scottish feeling to it you see look at me things look at me things uh and um the normal gallery of other people's work not strictly now five just sort of things that are cool um and then we will also have other news so something related to anything that's not something that was already covered by the things that we've already done so far Unless and not limited to uh, things that aren't related to anything. And then the other one is closing thoughts. I, I, you know, sometimes I, I talk a lot. Shit. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Um, yeah. This is why, look, what are we on? Four minutes and we haven't covered a bloody model. I'm actually, I don't mind, any way. So this is something that I have been working on and I really didn't spend long, maybe an hour, if that. I basically threw the colors down, not cared so much about the feeling. But what I have been playing with um, is the concept of contrast with cold and warm, which is a very big thing when you start seeing the better painters. Uh, they do it all the time. Um, and I'm at the level now where I can notice it, but I still find it very hard to implement because obviously you want contrast across your model, um, but tits in your face, you don't want it 
too much everywhere. Do you know what I mean? So there's that fine balance of contrast and the different types and the way they play with each other. So this model I've been going, if you look at the top, I'm using warmer colors uh, where I want to draw attention. And then down below, I'm using cooler colors. Cool. And then there should be some contrast in there. You've got the gold. So yeah, I wrote the sculptures by Pedro Fernandez, who interestingly actually is about to do a model for me about to do a model for me. Um, it's been ongoing for a long time. And it and uh, the bold miniatures, it's a very similar model in this ilk, uh, concept wise. Um, so man, I've been excited about it for so long, like genuinely like a really long time. Uh, and I think we're getting close. I think we're getting close. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. But then we still have the whole process of the casting and then the shipping and then the pre-sale and then the box art and then blah, blah, blah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I think uh, Lonzo is going to do the box art. I wonder what there's, if there's secrets in this industry. I don't really know. Like, could I tell you that this guy's working on this thing? I mean, I've already told you Pedris is working on something for me, but is that allowed? There's so many weird things. I assume it's not. Um, and the industry, I also think it's, it's funny because feels big and then you realize it's actually just a load of blokes in their in their houses uh, except for a couple of the who are real companies uh, and then the second thing i'm working on which i've spent much more time on like much more time than this and that's partly because i started it with the piss up you know i got i drank alcohol and painted um <laughs> that was that was fun can't even lie. Uh, so it's got a long way to go, but the key is it's a tabletop, so I don't need to care um, about everything uh, fundamentally. I just need to add some oranges, some colors, and obviously nothing is actually finished. It's all kind of in a sketch mode as, as sketched can be, but I like the model. Uh, it was an unreleased, I believe a staff member, he, he sculpted two that were gonna be released while he was there. Um, and he left before I guess they released them all or he told them about them. And then um, a fan was just like, can I just pay to get some sculpts like cast done? I think he had like 50 done a long, long time ago on Warseer uh, forum. So that concludes or thus concludes the, uh, it's funny that I do these pronunciations, you know, I remember watching um, this other guy, this Warhammer guy, he's, he's got a lot of like, I don't know how many followers, like 200,000, but he talks like, no that's too mm. it's that really eccentric voice and he talks about rules and stuff um and i swore i'd never do accents or things and i do do them you know in real life i mean this is real life for me right now because i'm sitting down and filming but uh more tits in your face let us go to the next part of the show and this part of the show is the look at other things and not look at me things look at other things and uh that is the part that you will always know and love oh guys i swear in german because this guy's german i hope he is we talk a fair amount um and i still don't know how to say his name hederion hederion hend h-e-n head aron head 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 Aron Aron Arion Hedy Ryan Hedy Ryan <laughs> Anyway <clears throat> He normally does Elder or he, he I know him because he's an Elder fan and I'm an Elder fan, so we talk, we have common interests. Uh but still when you see some things and you know they're twenty eight mil that complement his style extremely well. Uh you kind of have to feature it on a show called the Hubba Show and the section called uh, "Look at me, look at other things." I'm still learning what they call called. Obviously, I made them up a couple of seconds ago. Um, so I know his techniques are sponge based, like, i.e., he uses sponges as in or as part of his repertoire. Um, but that I believe was for a Titan that was the Elder Titan that's very large. I suppose if I go nearer, I can. I've still got the same limited by this space. The big elder, elder reverend, uh, reverend, 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 father McKilly. 
Um, so I'm curious actually how he got such tight and smooth blends, but not, you know, you know tight's probably not the right word, like extreme contrasting, because um, that's exactly what they are. They're massive and it, 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 it it's quite powerful in in most senses, but it's it's more powerful because it's well done positionally and blue and the Space Marine um, and obviously the Purple Sword. So, uh, yeah, and, and man, yeah, I, I, I obviously I hate Space Marines um, and this model even more, but I think the paint job uh, absolutely is worth a huge um, reference. What is this? Can you even call this a reference? Uh, appreciation. I was going to say shout out, but it's not really a shout out because I'm not shouting out to anyone. And then obviously his freehand skills, as you can see, are very, very nice. And smoothness is one thing he definitely exudes in. Um, and there is no paintbrush, if I am correct. Correct me if I'm wrong, header on. <laughs> header on Hoddle on. Uh, I, as again, I only know the real name of this guy. I had to look up your Instagram to get your name. Um, ah, hold on. This is, I thought I included this. Obviously, I didn't. This is his elder stuff, right? Just, just a pure appreciation. Um, because he does do stuff that you don't see very often, if at all, on elder models of 28 mil. Because this uh, smoothness and this sharpness that you have on the gems and on the... It, it, it's the same that he gets on the on the Titan, which is massive. So... I mean, yeah, it's it's brilliant in, in almost every way. But but what's also shocking is, um, again, uh, just like a big tit in your face. Um, uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> I, I, I'm losing, I don't know why, I'm just, I do know why it happens all the time. But today, especially, I'm struggling to just have a... <clears throat> so when the tit goes in your face, that is basically when my brain stops thinking immediately uh to whatever it was thinking about before so point of this is he's as smooth on this scale as he is on 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 the titan scale uh which is a very impressive feat to make this look big and to make those look you know in essence realistic and small uh so thank you thank you for your elder love i'm very looking forward to very looking forward to. I believe he's starting a model that um, was a fan sculpt of mine, so I'm I'm excited to see this as well. Oh yeah, you should send me whips of that actually, please. Um, model number two. Mark's not French, so weird that I do a French accent. Um, this is old, like really old. And I have this model, and uh, it does not appeal to my painter side, uh, aka a lot of skin, which I have no practice of doing and I'm trying to get there, but I didn't like the model for that reason. It, it challenged me in too many ways. Um, but Mark, I saw it pop up and I was like, yeah, man, I've seen it before, I think, from when it was released, because obviously it's Mark Masculant and Black Sun Miniatures. Um, I should have included that, but uh, it's just, yeah, it's just brilliant. Uh, like the skin, obviously. And the... I don't know what they're called. I was going to say N and M, but the whole thing, the belt. This is probably two years old, maybe. It's hard to believe. Time flies, eh? Bloody flies. Again, the 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 way. Uh, oh, these bloody spoilers! I thought I had three. I do have three. I've gone through three already. Wow. Um. So yeah, it it's basically. I love the model. I love the paint job. I love the model because of the paint job. The model. I don't love because it's not elder uh, or an elf. It's, I mean, I can I can love the sculpt, right? Joachim Palacios. Uh, but it doesn't mean I have to love the product, the final product. It's appreciation. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, I hadn't seen the final uh, version inside a frame. And I've, I've got to be honest with you. Um, when I saw this, I thought this was the final model, i.e. if you turn it that way it will become 3d uh but now i'm not so sure now now i'm thinking actually is is that a photo of of the model in a frame because it's on the floor so unless there's a hole in the floor that is just a print of of ithami's 
uh, version of that model um, that you painted. Mine's a little bit blown. I mean, at the moment, I could put like one of those as as lots of uh, people do, and it would probably be more interesting. But that is it. My mind is blown. Uh, is that or is that not? Athami, you probably don't watch. If you do watch, please let me know. Or if anybody else knows. And I, I'll, I'll ask next time I talk to you. Oh, yeah, crap. Uh, right. Will, Will Brightly, or Will is painting on Instagram. Um, every time you do a model, you get better. And that is saying something because you haven't been in painting that long, but your, your results are... Literally just before I was about to film, I just saw this on, on, on the feed. I can't remember what I was, oh, I was on Instagram and I was like, oh man, well played, sir. Um, I think there's a lot of things going on. The skin is obviously very well done. Smooth, but with enough volumes to, to understand and feel exactly what it's got going. Um, it's almost like a slightly more anime side mixed in with, I guess, more real-ish or the, how the other painters do it. So it's like a blend between anime and like a, a Mark or a, an Andy Wardle. Wardle? Wasn't he a famous painter? Not miniatures. Was that someone else? It's not the guy with the clocks. He did like expressionist art. I don't know. Um, yeah. And the hair and the N&M and the cloth. You're getting there. And I know you're a commission painter or you're working for um, a big model studio. But it doesn't mean that it's not more impressive that you're getting a lot a lot better and you were already very good so scary where you're going to take things and this sounds like uh like a review for a, a painter and that's not what it is basically i saw the model i liked it and i have to talk about it uh and yeah pink it's good um so thus concludes section two uh the look at other things and and the reason why it's called look at other things is because it's when we look at other things uh i just didn't have room to to type all of that in the title because uh, as you can see uh actually i probably didn't have room but it just looks really naff when you have that there uh so you know this is better uh and another news um my chair wheel is broken now that might not sound like a terrible thing but as you can see it's a a wheelie chair, a chair with wheels. Uh, and this isn't the first wheel that's broken. Actually, uh, two others have broken already. And I contacted IKEA's customer service and they said up to six weeks. Um, and luckily, lockdown had just been lifted back then. So I snuck in to IKEA. I basically just went to IKEA. Uh, and I just popped off two wheels off the show IKEA items. Now, I did put back the broken wheels because I didn't want people having accidents. Um, but now those wheels, not the ones I took, took exchanged. Uh, by the way, this isn't like real. It's obviously all fiction. So if you go to the police, uh, they, you know, it can't be used against me. Uh, and now I'm supposedly going to have to do that again, because again, their customer services, they can't get me a wheel. Uh, I had considered buying a new chair and then just swapping the wheels. Um, but obviously... Obviously, I haven't done that, especially because of the lockdown. It's been difficult, but lockdown, I can go to IKEA now, get my wheel back. But that is, for me, quite a big, a quite a big problem because I like wheels. I like wheels a lot. Um, and then we have our last segment, which is closing thoughts. But I don't have any images for the closing thoughts, so I don't really know if I have any closing thoughts. My closing thoughts are probably this. I've, I've changed the lights position. It's more central now. Uh, I've added uh, new logos. I've added borders around uh, the galleries and this video here. I've added some little bits of text. We're going to get a new email address that anybody, hopefully, you can email me questions and I can answer them um, in one of these new segments. And I will call that Ask Me Something or Jamie answers things. And that could, it can actually be anything. I'd be quite happy to answer anything at all. Uh, at all, at all, at all. 
uh, yeah, no, let, let's not limit it. Let, yeah, uh, and maybe send your images in, and then we can talk about them, feature them, um, rather than me scrounging around every week for them, which would actually be quite nice. Uh, and also, of course, the unboxings. Uh, you can email in and tell me what you want me to unbox, but obviously you'll still need to send uh, the actual thing in that you want me to unbox. I, I'm thinking about branching into reviews, uh, but I'm not sure. So these final thoughts are, that's me singing up that, I'm coming up. Na, 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 na. Uh, I just don't know the lyrics, so I didn't want to do it. But then obviously, because I said that's me singing and then dancing, I had to back it up with what I was thinking about. Um, so yeah, things are improving. That's my closing thought. And thank you, everyone. Enjoy your weekend because it's a bloody beautiful weekend. It's a beautiful week so far, and it's going to be a good weekend. Uh, so enjoy. And thank you again for your patronism. Uh, like, subscribe, share, um, follow, uh, tell all your friends. What 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 is it that people want you to do? If you subscribe, you get more. If you comment, you get more. Commenting is always good, obviously. Uh, got nothing other than, yeah.